Monsieur, je vous arrête. Vous êtes accusé de complot et de complicité avec d'autres personnes dans le seul but de commettre l'assassinat du président John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Nous avons un mandat de perquisition. Il est de mon devoir de vous informer. Vous avez le droit de garder le silence, de faire appel à un avocat. Tout ce que vous direz. Est... Born in Tampa, Florida, in 1914, Santo Traficante Jr. hailed from a family already deeply involved in organized crime. Like many of the most prominent mobsters of the 20th century, his father, Santo Traficante Sr., grew up in Sicily, Italy, but became a major player in the criminal world after migrating to America. As such, Traficante Sr. controlled gambling rackets for Bellotti, a lottery game popular in Florida and Cuba until 1940 when the murder of Tampa boss Ignacio Antonori pushed the Traficantes to assume ultimate power in the Florida underworld. After Santo Traficante Sr. died in 1954, Santo Traficante Jr., a.k.a. the Silent Dawn, took over the crime family. The family was profiting not only from its offshore casinos, but narcotics trafficking. Santos Jr. was indicted several times through the 1950s, but was convicted only once on state charges in 1954 for bribery, and that conviction was overturned by the Florida Supreme Court. Travaconti was arrested again in 1957 for attending the famous Appalachian Summit of Mob Leaders in Pennsylvania, but those charges were dropped. Santo Traficante Jr. was entangled in a web of conspiracies like the well-established relationship with the CIA to kill Castro, the leader of revolutionary Cuba. Traficante Jr., along with Carlos Marcelo, mob boss of New Orleans in the 1950s and 1960s, Teamster President Jimmy Hoffa and Chicago boss Sam Giancana were involved in some way with President John F. Kennedy's assassination. One of the last surviving mobsters from the Luciana era, he died of heart disease in a Houston, Texas hospital in 1987. Thank you so much for watching and have a very good night.